You can so play. Stefano the Super Cruiser welcomes you to Trackmaster Races. Today we're racing for Thomas and Friends Minis Blind Bag. Pick your engine. Hey, did you lose a tooth? Yeah. Here's the contestants. Fireworks Thomas, Racing Percy, Snow Covered Gordon, Hyperglow Nia, Lorenzo, Rebecca, Hyperglow Ishima, Golden Thomas, Hero of the Rails, Henry, James, Gina, Merlin, Philip, Celebration Thomas, and our newest track master, Armor Thomas. We've been looking and looking for this guy. I'm glad we finally found him. Let's open him up. Armored Thomas, show us about his helmet here, son. Oh, and his helmet comes off, which means we can put it on. We have the Lion of Sodor, that's awesome. And this looks like a bunch of gold. But who needs gold when we Wait. have? Minis. And here's the Lion of Sodor wearing the helmet. That looks fantastic. Thomas doesn't know what to think about that. First race, let's have Armored Thomas in his very first race ever, going up against Hero of Japan. This should be a lot of fun. On your marks, get set. Go! And off they go, and right off the bat, the newest engine. Armor Thomas is having a lot of fun at this. He is well ahead of Hero of the Rails. Look at this, as he even has the inside track. Very oh. close, oh, just, I don't even know, scrapes the tether would be a word? But he is off, and he is going through, and he's gonna go get the checkered lion. Look at that, his hat's trapped him. Here's Hero. And winning his first race ever, look at the shock on his face, folks. Armored Thomas goes on to the next round. Next up, it's gonna be a battle of the ladies as Hyperglow Ashima takes on Gina of Italy. These two met at the great race, didn't they? And they were both in the shunting competition. That's right, they were. On your marks, get set. Go! Off they go, and it looks like Gina has an early lead up against Ashima as she opens up, and the bridges open up for her. Gina now definitely ahead as Ashima gets the inside track. That might be the great equalizer coming out of the turns, and it is. Ashima now in the lead with that inside track. Here comes Gina, though. Don't count her out, but maybe we will. Ashima goes on, and the lion says, I'm already sitting up here on fire. That was a great race. Wow, Gina was ahead for most of it until we went into the turns. Ultimately, Hyperglow Shima, though, ends up winning. Another great battle here, Lorenzo, the musical engine, up against Rebecca, whose only music comes from her whistle. On your marks, get set, go! And here they are, and it looks like, wow, Lorenzo just taking out Rebecca already. Rebecca, the fast on Sodor, but I guess Lorenzo isn't even on Sodor. Oh, Rebecca having problems climbing up the hill. Looks like she is trapped in the flags. Back on track and on track, but here comes Lorenzo. He will go through and knock off the lion of Sodor. Rebecca coming into the lion, and she pays it no mind. He looks good. Lorenzo, the musical engine, a past champion, has taken out Rebecca, the big engine from Sodor. Congratulations. Next up, these guys look a lot alike. It is Henry versus Glorious Gordon, as my son likes to call him. He is snow covered. The Sony version, let's see if he can take out Henry. I don't think he can. On your marks, get set, go! And here they go, and that's Gordon. Oh my goodness gracious. Henry just barely opening up the track on time. Gordon's loss is tender. Gets a little help putting it back on as Henry takes the outside lane. These two engines very close, but Gordon definitely in the lead. Must be all that snow on his boiler. I'm surprised it's on there and hasn't boiled off yet because it's gotten very hot. Oh, and he has knocked over the line of Sodor as Gordon wins and Henry comes in second. Henry often considered the second best big engine on the steam team and here is the reason why. It is Gordon, snowy Gordon going on. Next up, it is James, the most splendid and shiny engine on Sodor taking on Merlin, the most splendid and shiny engine beyond Sodor. On your marks. Get set, go! Merlin comes out slightly ahead in front of James. It must be those three funnels of his, folks. He's usually invisible, but we can see him very clearly now, but he doesn't know what track to go on. Needs a little bit of help in the corner. It looks like James is coming out of the turns and he is in first place. Oh my goodness, Merlin now catching up. Will it be enough to get him ahead? This is gonna be ultra close. Who will win? It's gonna be, 
Oh, wow! Well, I'll tell you who didn't win, and that is the Lion of Sodor. But the big winner was Merlin. That was a very close race. James, very well done. But you are eliminated. Merlin goes on. Next up, we always have these two guys race, Percy and Thomas. This is Racing Percy. This is actually his track. He came with this track setup. And Celebration Thomas, representing 75 years of Thomas the Tank Engine, one of our newest engines. We love this guy. On your marks, get set, go! And it looked like Percy had a little bit of a lead, but oh no, it is Celebration Thomas, and he is definitely, lead. oh no, he's been caught up. We're gonna need some help. And he gets it, but it's a little bit late as Percy has now taken the lead on the inside track. This does not bode well for Celebration Thomas, but will it be a comeback as Racing Percy is racing, but it won't be fast enough. Celebration Thomas comes through it. Oh no, it isn't enough. Racing Percy taking advantage because Celebration Thomas got stuck on the track. Congratulations, Percy. You are, you have one on your own track. Hometown advantage. Next up, let's have a Hyperglow race as Fireworks Thomas, a Hyperglow engine, takes on Hyperglow Nia in a Hyperglow match. On your marks, get set, go! And off they go, looks like, we're, oh, you're cheering for Nia, but here comes Thomas, the tank engine with the outside track. Nia's got the inside track, but I don't think that's enough. Celebration Thomas definitely ahead with the hyper glowing and he's going over the dirt mounds. Nia hot on his tail, but it won't be enough. And the lion has declared that Thomas wins. Very valid effort by Nia, but Thomas, the tank engine, goes on another Thomas now. And in the final battle of the first round, it is happy birthday celebration, Golden Thomas versus Philip, who beat Gordon in a race once, but I don't think he'll be able to beat this Thomas. Call it a hunch. On your marks, get set, Go! And here they are, oh no, Philip! How did you ever beat Gordon in a race once? Oh, and he's opened up the bridge and caught it on Thomas just to get a slight advantage, but I don't think it'll be enough. Oh yeah, here we go, Golden Thomas taking that golden route with the inside track, and he is definitely passing Philip here, going back over the mounds, and he is well ahead at this point. He will go on, and he has won! Golden Thomas, a fan favorite here, has taken care of Philip. My goodness, Philip did not do well at all. Stefano, the Super Cruiser, happy to be here with the Lion of Sodor's the second round. As eight engines remain, including Armor Thomas, Hyperglow Ashima, Golden Thomas, Lorenzo, Merlin, Snowy Gordon, Racing Percy, and Fireworks Thomas. First match, it is a tender train battle as Lorenzo, the musical engine, takes on Merlin, the invisible. On your marks, get set, go! Oh, Lorenzo with a little bit of a late start. Merlin got the heads up there, and he is going on, and he is definitely in the lead, but here is Lorenzo. Will he get the out? Oh, now, Merlin has the inside track. Oh, no! Both trains have been a little bit derailed in a really just unique scenario. Lorenzo now in the lead, and what a unique problem that was. He will definitely go on and get the checkered flag. Merlin is eliminated. What a unique match that was. I mean, both trains got derailed in their turns. Lorenzo, though, ultimately defeating Merlin. Next up, Percy will have to take on Thomas again as it's Hyper Glow Thomas and Racing Percy. On your marks, get set, go! And off they go, and it looks like Tom is slightly ahead of Percy, and he is opening up the bridge, and he is going down. He takes the in outside track, rather, as Percy goes on the inside track, but it is not enough for Percy to get ahead as Celebration Thomas with those fireworks, not Celebration, but fireworks, Hypergo Thomas, rather, gets those fireworks, and Percy gets eliminated. Fireworks Thomas, with that hyper glow of his, has made it to the final four, eliminating Racing Percy. Next up, let's bring in our newest engine, Armor Thomas, with that beautiful helmet going up against Hyper Glow Ashima. On your marks, get set, go! And off they go at the same time, very close race. Looks like Ashima might even be slightly ahead of Armor Thomas as Ashima has the inside track, and this does not go well. Oh no! Armor Thomas gets hung up on the flags, my goodness! Look how far ahead Hyper Glow Ashima is, and what an upset! The fireworks Armored Thomas, our brand new engine, has been eliminated. Hyper Glow Ashima, another upset, takes out Armor Thomas, meaning that we're gonna remove his armor and give it to Ashima. Looking good, Ashima. Last race of the second round has 
Golden Thomas up against Snowy Gordon. On your marks, get set, go! And they're off to the races, folks. It looks like Thomas will be the first over the hill. Gordon coming down now. It looks like Gordon might have a slight advantage. Oh, wow, he has the inside track. That's going to be a big advantage. Coming out of the turns, Golden Thomas might get upset here as well. As Snowy Thomas definitely in the lead at this point. Golden Thomas doing his best, but I don't think it's enough. Golden Thomas, my goodness. And it's another great upset. My goodness, Golden Thomas with his hat still on. All the confetti, but not enough as Snowy Gordon has gone on to the final four. And welcome to the final four, the semifinals, if you will. Snowy Gordon, Lorenzo, Armored, Hyperglow, Ishima, and Hyperglow, Fireworks, Thomas remain. This has been numerous upsets. I mean, like our three of our newest engines have been eliminated. My goodness. First match, let's have a tender battle as Snowy Gordon takes on Lorenzo. On your marks. Get set. Go! Oh, it looks like Gordon had a little bit of a head start, but here comes Lorenzo, and he has already passed Gordon. As they come down the tracks, it looks like, oh man, Lorenzo has the advantage. Oh no, Gordon gets a little bit derailed, but it doesn't much matter. Lorenzo was already ahead at that point. Staying on the mound, coming around the fence, and he will go in and win. Lorenzo taking out Snowy Gordon, meaning we'll remove Snowy Gordon's snow and give it to Lorenzo. Now he's Snowy Lorenzo. And in the second semifinal race, Armored Hyperglow Ashima takes on Celebration Thomas. Or is it Fireworks Thomas? It's Fireworks Thomas, that's what we'll call him. On your marks, get set. These guys are both Hyperglow. They're both Hyperglow, did you know that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Go! Oh no! And Armored Ashima's helmet has caught her. Oh, and Thomas now having, oh man, this is just a big mess. Hair straight back for Hyperglow Ashima, who's on the ups track. She got delayed, but I mean, luckily, Fireworks Hyperglow Thomas also got delayed. That helmet is just rare and ready to come off. And Thomas wins. And it looks like this armored helmet is not a good thing. It cost Ashima a big start. We're gonna put it back on a Thomas and see if it works better on this guy now. And welcome to the final as Lorenzo, who is taking that snow from Snowy Gordon, will go up against armored Hyperglow Fireworks Thomas. This guy's crazy, he's got his helmet back. Let's see who wins. On your marks, get set, go! Oh, looks like Thomas, oh no, Lorenzo got caught on the snow. My goodness, these extra trophies are not doing anybody any favors. And look at Thomas with the inside track already passing Lorenzo. Thomas far and away ahead. Hopefully that helmet gets him through as Fireworks Thomas goes on and he will win. Lorenzo in second. And here he is, Fireworks Hype. For Glow Thomas with armored Thomas's helmet and the Lion of Sodor. Stefano, the super cruiser, ready to present him with. Mm, That's right, a Thomas Minnie's blind bag. Is that the blind bag? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there it is. Who will it be? Wow, look at this. This is like, is this Hawaiian Toby? Yep. Look at him. He's got some crazy wood paneling going on. It looks like a palm tree. Whoa, Josie grabs him. Hawaiian Toby, look at that. He's got spooky eyes in the cap. It looks like a big palm tree helmet. Number seven on him. I love the color of him. He's got like that golden tannish color. He will join Hawaiian Birdie and Hawaiian Bill in her Hawaiian minis collection. Congratulations, Toby. Welcome to the channel. And it's another big win for Fireworks Hyperglow Thomas. My goodness, this engine is on a roll. Roar.